Moore's wife, he will not step down. Alabama Republican Senate candidate Troy Moore has been dealing with a bitter sexual misconduct controversy for some time now, and while nearly all Democrats and some Republicans are calling for him to step down, his wife has a simple answer for them. No. He will not step down, Kayla Moore said on Thursday in Birmingham, Alabama, according to Breitbart. He will not stop fighting for the people of Alabama. In his words, and I quote, I will not stop until they lay me in that box in the ground. But she did not stop there. On Friday, she continued her campaign supporting her husband in Montgomery, Alabama, and denounced one of the more controversial news outlets in the mainstream, The Washington Post. The Washington Post has called everybody that I have ever known for the last 30 years, she said on the steps of the state capitol. They have called everybody my husband has ever known for the last 40 years, she said. They, print whatever anyone says without checking to even see if it is correct. So, to the people of Alabama, thank you for being smarter than they think you are, she said. They will call you names. They will say all matter of evil against you. I would say consider the source. I have been married to my husband Judge Roy Moore for over 32 years she stated. He was a graduate of West Point. He served our country in Vietnam, and he has always been an officer and a gentleman. He is a loving father and a grandfather. Most important, he is a Christian. Roy Moore's wife might be one of his most passionate and eloquent defenders, but the polls are not looking good for him so far for the upcoming December election. Real Clear Politics shows Moore's opponent. Doug Jones, as ahead in their polls for the first time, albeit marginally. Fox News reports Jones is up eight full percentage points. If Moore really expects to get back on track in the polls, he has a lot of work to do, and of course, should he be guilty of the sexual misconduct of which he is accused, it is imperative he be held accountable. The voters of Alabama will be making that decision. The rest of America will be watching. What do you think about this story? Please share this on Facebook and Twitter and let us know. What do you think of Kayla Moore's defense of her husband? Scroll down to comment below. Below.